have. So yeah, this is my new STR car, uh, <laughs> sponsored by Performance Details. On the racing and Instagram and Facebook. Pretty yeah, sick. what's your what's your Instagram handle, babe? Be more free Hondas. It's working out pretty well so far. I've already got one. All right, back here in the shop for uh, a little update. We've got Steve's car on the rack. We were just checking things out on it after its um, intro to the tire wall the other day. Uh, a little work to do on it for sure. We found some pretty bent up things underneath. We'll get some parts ordered for it soon. The Honda's looking pretty good. Uh, almost no issues with it. Um, everything held up pretty well. The only issue, of course, is this axle back here, which has quite a bit of play now in it. So we're going to order some axles up from Insane Shafts and give those a go. Hopefully uh, they're a little more durable and we can get a little longer life. These axles seem to last about five, six track days, these OE ones. And then uh, I've twisted the shafts in half twice, uh, overheated an outer CV and had it seize up. And this is the second inner cup. So I think it's time to upgrade and see if they don't break. Uh, on the GTS 4 car, we're doing a fuel system upgrade. So old injectors are out. We've got some new injector dynamics 1000s in here. So I'm pretty excited to uh, have some modern injectors, none of the four hole old school Bosch injectors anymore. And then with that, we're uh, going to be switching over to E98. You get a little more cooling and a little more power out of the car. So excited about that. We we're just finishing up the uh, fuel pump install. Of course, we pulled out the stock pump and put in a 255. Um, still a small pump, but it should be plenty with this car making 330, 350 horsepower. So that's it. We've got some work to do, and um, next up we'll uh, also start on the rear sway bar in this car, put a small rear sway bar in. All right, so we're in the fab shop now, and we talked about the GTS 4 car having understeer, so I want to put a rear sway bar on it, just a small one. Uh, but everything on the market seemed like it was kind of big. I talked to ground control. They sent over this bar. This is apparently their small bar. It said that this rates similar to the small stock rear bar, which is this uh, 15 millimeter bar here. I got out of the junkyard. Um, the stock options are that 15 or I think an 18 or 19. Um, but this looks quite a bit stiffer than I think they're saying. So we're going to rate it really quick using one of our scale pads. We got a clamp to the bench. And then all we're gonna do is push down on this arm with this clamp. And when we get one inch of displacement over top of this softest hole, you can see we've got it supported by the softest hole on the other side. We'll, uh, we'll see what the change in force is and hopefully we'll get a uh, inch pound uh, rate for this bar and then it's on to the next one. So in just a second, we'll get that set up. All right, so we got our clamp on now. The gap to here is uh, 1.5 inches, just about. Um, now we can take our scale pad and zero it. I've got a little bit of preload just to kind of get any any flex out of the system. So we've got 46 pounds right now. So I'll just put that on 46, and now let's squish this down. All right, I got lucky there. So we're now at 0 0.502. So we moved the bar one inch. So we're up to 215. All right, uh, so we came up with 169. We just verified it and did it one more time and came up with about the same rate, 168, 169. So that's 169 inch pounds on the softest hole, which is uh, much closer to a 20 millimeter bar. Uh, if not a little more than that. So just to verify, we're going to throw this 15 on there and give that a run. Oh, so soft. I need to hold the clamp up. All right, so we got our baseline here. We're at, even the weight of the clamp is throwing this one off a little bit, but we're at about 10 pounds. So let me compress this. Okay, perfect. So we went from 1.375 to 375. So we moved an inch 
And I hope it's not just 47 pounds. Else this thing is pretty weak. Okay, so so it's leveled at about 47 minus the like 10 we started with ish. So this is not a very stiff sway bar. I mean, I thought maybe it was wrong, but I can clearly put my hand under here and move this. Um, I mean, I've, these rubber bushings aren't deflecting that much at that little force. So, yeah, so I would say that that bar is not very close to the stock 15. Um, so we're 169 for that. And we'll rough this one at 40. So there we go. So I'd like to find something in between these two or maybe build a bar that is 40 pounds on the smallest, you know, lightest hole and we can get ourselves up to maybe 80. You know, be able to almost double it. I'm not sure we can get that much range out of it, but we'll uh, see what we can get in the car. All right, good morning. It's Saturday. Uh, we've got some new axles in finally for the S2000. These are some 1,000 horsepower rated insane shafts. Um, pretty excited to finally try these. Been kind of keeping an eye on them. And uh, obviously we've been burning through um, axles in the S2000. So let's get these in there and go test them out. All right, we've got this axle out. This is the one that was making so much noise. Let's see what we got in here. It's pretty not connected anymore. <laughs> So I know it's going to be a good one. Come on, baby. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, so you see right about here where there's supposed to be a bearing. Apparently, we broke that. Oh, there's the, the inner, looks like the inner and outer kind of race holder for this bearing. We still have the other ones though. Oh, this one's gone too. What is that? Oh, that's more bits. This thing is pretty sweet. There we go. That's half of the inner from the one bearing. So yeah, pretty surprised this was still holding together at all. Anyway, we've got more parts for this, so I will rebuild this axle with some fresh bits, and uh, this will be on it go in the spare pile. So what do you think guys, axle in faster or out faster? Isn't everything a race? <laughs> Not when it's against Robert. All right, new axles are in. Uh, time to go test them out. So, this thing will start today.
got back. Uh, axles feel great as I guess expected and they are brand new but we didn't kill them. We did a bunch of pulls and ran I don't know 21 PSI in first and second gear and got it to hook up and so far we didn't twist anything in half so and the car still seems to be full of oil so all good. We're gonna get it uh, wiped down cleaned up for the next event and uh, I don't think we have any other issues with the car. We're ready to send it for the next time. So yeah, this is my new STR car. Uh, <laughs> sponsored by Performance Details and Honda Racing and Instagram and Facebook. Pretty yeah, what's your, what's your Instagram handle, babe? Uh, my Instagram handle is give me more free Hondas. Yeah. It's working out pretty well so far. I've already got one. Mike said he'd give me a Civic next. Oh, you know what? I don't even want this. This shit's fucking broken. Is it? Yeah. This isn't a very good car. This is supposed to be durable. And I cracked it within a month. Alright, here with Darian today. He's got his S2000 in the shop. Uh, he's obviously been uh, detailing a lot of the cars in here and a lot of Steve's collection. But today it's time to give back, so we're going to get his car up on the rack and give it an alignment, corner balance, fix this caster, and then we're gonna go after the brakes. Um, this is the brake package that I made when I used to work at 3R. So I, I know this brake kit has uh, some upgrades that we can do. Uh, we're gonna make a reinforcement bracket for the caliper today and see if we can get the brake pedal a little more consistent for him. It'll be a nice fun project to do on the mill. And uh, we're also gonna test some different compounds of rear pads to see if we can get a little more uh, bite out of the back of the car. Currently the car is a little pushy on entry, is that right? Yeah. And is it loose on power anymore or is that better? Mm, no, much better. Okay, so we just got one thing to figure out and that's the uh, little bit of entry push. And I think it's caused by the braking system, so that's why we're going to focus on that today. Did you leave yours? Yeah, I You're probably fucking wrong. That's perfect. I'm at 28 and a half. I'm at 28. Uh, yours fucking sucks. Well, yours looks nice. Jennifer. That's because it was... Dude, open the bleed valve. See if it changes. There's no pressure in it. Alright, you win. How much will gearing fluid change how the, the rear works? It completely changes how the rear works. Because I'm running 75140. What 75140? AMS oil. What's the slip package in it? I don't know. You look it up. You look it up. See my six slip plates? Wow. Who says you need fancy stuff? Trash bag, a little bit of grease in between the layers. Bam, the perfect slip plate. No flex, no displacement. <laughs> and reusable. So we just used these to do our, our sweep for caster. Uh, we minimized it to go out and test and check the alignment. Has it changed since the last time the car was in here? So I think we're all good. Corner weights, we did check the corner balance, but I want to check it again after the caster adjustment. But uh, it was really close, so. Hopefully we'll be wrapped up here and on to brakes in no time. Aaron, you've made some new uh, shop friends? Yeah, I made some new shop friends. Well, I have my new new alignment guy taking care of my car. So we took it out for a test drive after um, getting the alignment right. 
just to make sure that it still drove straight down the road. And everything felt good, but when I came to a stop, we had a little bit of a misfire. And apparently the car's been doing that for a while. So uh, we went ahead and did a quick leak down test, and for sure, unfortunately, like these 06s like to do, uh, it's got some burnt up exhaust valves. Um, for sure, there's one on cylinder one that's pretty bad, and a little bit on cylinder two. So I pulled the valve cover off and just adjusted the valve lash. It really wasn't that bad, but apparently uh, Darian, when he got the car, did do a valve lash adjustment, so this damage could be from the previous owner. Anyway, I, I did loosen it up a little bit. I, I like to run 10 thou on the intake and 12 thou on the exhaust, which is up definitely the, the looser end of the spectrum. So we're gonna put it back together. We're not gonna have time to get to brakes today, but uh, at least we know the lash is good and we'll come up with a game plan to get the cylinder head rebuilt. Thing we found was that uh, spark plug number three was almost a full turnout, so it had shaken itself a bit loose as well. Um, so definitely a couple things today, just from uh, you know kind of listening to the car. I think everything feels pretty good right now. It's not the smoothest idling car, but that's going to happen with the burned up valve a little bit. All right, well that just about wraps it up. Uh, I did get this 24 millimeter bar up on here and gave it a quick rate just to compare it to the other ones. This is what came on the GTS 4 car. This one came out to 220 pounds per inch of travel. The 24 is definitely a bit stiffer than the ground control bar, but not by a ton. Um, so again, uh, waiting on the 18 millimeter bar to come in next and we'll give that a go. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this look into a week at our shop. We have some exciting content coming up soon. Robert went to a WRL race in Hastings, Nebraska and got some fun videos of that which will be up shortly. And we are also prepping for a July 4th event for NJMP and we'll make sure to have the cameras ready for that. So make sure you subscribe to our channel to see those videos. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.